Welcome back everyone to Wellstopia and we have finished uh, the four branches on the great temple here and it is time for us to now take care of the tip of this tree as we lead up to the great tree up here. And to do this I am going to taper the sides so that we gradually go in until we meet down here just off the center but at the same time we are going to gradually move up so that this corridor's height is actually going to be the full height of the tree room in here so therefore if you're looking up here assuming I got the angle right you'll be able to at least see the leaves, maybe the entire tree, as you approach. So the idea there is the tree to get bigger and bigger. Let's go and see how it works. I'm going to start out by cutting out all this stone so that we could have the tapering effect. I have taken care of the floor and the lower half of the walls. And that's the result there. And before I was talking about the tree slowly coming into view and now I think of it that would happen better with a flattish ceiling rather than one that was curving up so if I go up right now it goes up like this and maybe that does work better off that way so that slowly gets revealed up hmm but the other thing to consider is, of course, is that this is the greater temple. So, where's the altar? Of course, the tree itself serves as the altar. Who needs a special altar when you've got the tree here? So I think that works quite well. So our little entrance into there. So I've changed this up quite a bit because there used to be a podium of sorts or pedestal or dais or whatever up in this area and that there was a corridor leading into this area here. But I think what I have here fits better with my theme of having the great tree and that's the purpose of the greater temple anyway because you have the element served by the other four temples and that this one is to serve of course the ultimate and that being the tree the the great pine itself I know it's really a spruce but it's the best I could do in Minecraft now we have to worry about this up here in the original module these lead into barracks rather busy areas and all this stuff and I'm thinking that rather than barracks turning them into meditation rooms w one each for the four elements might be a good idea here so these could be the four meditation rooms that lead down into here so therefore I am going to have the joy of covering up a floor in this area. I decided I'll do the other side first and what I'm going to be doing for this is to I'm going to go in two sets. Remember when I talk about sets I'm talking about groups of three here is that I'll go in two sets then I'll have the first meditation room we'll have one meditation room on each side and then on this we'll have one on each side so therefore we'll have one for each of the four elements two on each side so therefore here we'll be going inward towards the meditation room itself then we'll go two more blocks after that so therefore we'll go in a total of five blocks we'll go inside there then have our meditation room and it should be a nice size as a result of this. The side passages are now in the same pattern as the main passage splitting into two directions 
and this is going to lead into a 9x9 nine nine room. Now there will be one 9x9 nine nine room on each of the four terminus, in other words two on each way and there will be of course one for each of the elements. The floors will of course will be spruce because I think of a meditation room as having a nice wooden floor and obviously spruce would be the wood of choice in this place. So I will have to vary the decorations for the walls for each of the four elements. Now I am using the stairs and the slabs so that I can play with the lighting a little bit because it's a meditation room and one would hope that you'd be able to turn down the lights a little bit without having to worry about creepers coming in and blowing you up. Since we need to be consistent coming up to the point of the door but we don't want the color of one element to be in the other room. What I'm going to do is is that for the entrance we are going to have the spruce there on each one and then we are going to have our walls. Now for our walls what we'll do is we'll have a bit of an alternating pattern. We will have the spruce there of course and then stone of the proper element next after that. In this case we are of course are going to be dealing with the water one since I'm using prismarine here. But there will be the stone appropriate for each of the four elements in there. So I will be using diorite for for air. I will be using and no no see I will be using granite for fire. I guess that leaves andesite for for air. I am having trouble thinking of the right one to use for earth. Andesite sounds like my best bet at the moment, but I may come up with another idea before I have that all done and dusted. I'll have to cut this out a little bit so that we could have a room for the wall there. I think that this will work. There we have our floor or ceiling. Now, for uh, our floor and our walls, so therefore we'll have one stripe on each of those sides and then the middle ones will be triple the stone which will correspond to where we have the entrance there. Oh, that's going to be tricky. All right, that's wow, three times in a row. It properly placed. That is a major feat for me. We go up. <sighs> well, yeah, blow it on the easy one, right? There we go all the way around and done. But over here, what we're going to have. Let's get rid of this since that could be a nice place to put the foundation for this. Is that this will go up to a ceiling of prismarine. Now, of course, this would only be on the water meditation room. We'll have to do something else for the others. Let's see. This is nine. Oh, okay. We're already going in by three. Where's the best place for lighting? Now, we don't want too much lighting, as I said before. This is a meditation room, after all. So, what if. How here, here, one in on each side, I think, might actually be a good idea. I know whenever I say I want to do it in low lighting, I always do. <laughs> I always want, nah, I like the way it looks better without it. But at least I won't have to worry about whether or not it meets the 
requirements of staying seven or higher. There you go. Because I just like to see, and I'm sure that I always hear about YouTube making things darker, so therefore you don't want to make your rooms too dark anyway. There you go. Yeah. I think that makes a nice little thing in there, and of course we can get rid of the torches since they are no longer necessary. So therefore, that's one done, and I think that's pretty decent. Well, I should add some banners in here. That's what we're needing, is a couple of banners. And of course, we'll do that for each of the four rooms. Let's try adding a few banners here. How about one here, one here, one here, one there, one there, and one there. All right. Oh, here and here. There we go. So therefore, we have some water banners. Then we can have some air banners. Let's see what we have here for air. So we'll need six of these. And do the same thing for the air area. Six, seven, and then air. Okay, so that's the air with the end rods up there. Then over at this end, we have fire. Eventually decided on magma cubes as my uh, light source here. That sounded like the most logical for that. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, looks like I'm going to be a few banners short in all this. All right, there we go for fire. And then finally, earth, which is the one that's going to get short changed because I only have. I uh, just had to add another banner later. So we'll just add them on the. Oh. It's the Earth Room, and it should be a little bit more grounded. All right, so therefore, I will flow with that mistake. Yeah, actually, that goes with the... That actually may work out. So therefore, that will be for the Earth. Now, originally, I was thinking of using the Glowstone in the Fire Room and using something else here, but I couldn't think of anything logical and I didn't want to use the same lighting for both of them, so therefore, that's why I decided to switch that over to magma cubes. And actually, the magma cubes are powered by end rods that are right next to them, so that it'll be guaranteed to still glow. All right, now, that concludes our four wings. So therefore, that takes care of the wings. That takes care of the approach down here. And that's everything to the Greater Temple. I made a few more banners so that Earth will get its equal share. There you go. Now they all have eight banners. Of course, we'll also need some... banners to... handle the general area. So we will... Place that here, probably at the. Where should we put the greater ones? Hmm. Where would be a good place for this? We should probably put. That doesn't look very well balanced. How about if I take that down, put that over there, and then do the same thing on this side. That way we have it properly balanced. Ah, the joy of... Come on, there you go. 
and now I could put this here and over here good now I need to find a few more places to put these there we go we've got a couple over here and a couple around here and of course the pair leading up to here and then of course to the tree I think here the tree will just speak for itself with that we are done with the greater temple which means that there is only one thing left to do relating to this build and that would be the nodes oh yes there's another little thing to note I really did not like the mycelium in here so therefore I have replaced all of the mycelium with Podzel and I think it looks ten times better with the Podzel than it did with the mycelium it all works very well it doesn't clash with everything at all but the item that we now need to do is this area here because we've got ladders going down to what are supposed to be the four nodes and I left the ladders down there I said someday I'll get back to the nodes and actually do them well I think that someday is now so therefore in our next episode we will begin with the fire node which right now just looks like a regular tunnel down here Uh, we have a nice pool of uh, lava to lead ourselves towards. And I think that's going to be a major feature in here. So we'll create this tunnel with this little bit of lava and make this look like a nice place if you were a fire elemental. But that's for the next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft Wellstopia.